Welcome to Pennies from Kevin. I'm Kevin Ross, and today we're going to talk about the high price of the free lunch. Ah, the air is so much cleaner. You feel so much better, and you can finally get on with your life when you pay for your own lunch. I'll tell you why when we come back. When someone asks you to lunch or dinner, make no mistake, there's always a reason. And for the most part, it's not a problem, depending on the person. There are three kinds of free lunch. When someone wants to maintain, when someone wants to pick your brain, and when someone wants to pick your pain and then use it against you. Now, I have no problem with the first two, but who are you having lunch with? When someone wants to maintain, it's most likely a great client or someone that truly believes in you and wants to see you do well. They give you a lot of support and they ask you for very little in return. They see the value in what you do and how it benefits them, and they just want to do straight business. These are the best clients and customers. Those who pick your brain. Now, these are the people that need something from you, but they let you know. It might be information or how to do something or mentoring and advice. This is fine as long as they are paying for the lunch and you are willing to do it. Then there are those who pick your pain and use it against you. These are the people you should avoid. They want to have lunch with you to see where you are weak and need help, but they're not there to help you as much as they're there to help themselves. These are the people this podcast is about. And here are some of the typical traits you should be keenly aware of. Are they someone who is always looking for discounts or information for their benefit? Do they make themselves the middleman between you and a potential client, but never give you access to that client? Do they make themselves the middleman between you and your current connections? Do they ask you to do things that make you uncomfortable that benefit them but can hurt you or your business? Do they play you against people that you already have relationships with? Are they the kind of person who makes suggestions to you about how to run your business or your career? Are they consistent name droppers and self-credit takers who consistently suggest they can make a call for you or reach out to someone on your behalf as if you can't do it? Do they act like you're stupid or disconnected and that you need them to succeed? Do they make you the bad guy when you don't give them what they want? Do you get an uneasy feeling around them? Are they the kind of person that dangles a carrot in front of you, asking you to do something now that they'll pay you for later if it works? That's BS, because later never comes. You are being used. You might not find this out until it's too late, but are they the kind of person that does something for you with or without you asking? then come back and ask you for something worth 10 times more? Do they throw things that they have done for you in your face when they pressure you to do something that you say no to or don't want to do? Are they super hard salespeople who no matter how many times you say no, they ignore it and keep pushing? Are they the kind of person that if you ask for a reference, instead of giving you a person's name, they say something like, oh, yeah, I have plenty. What do you need it for? We have all run into these kinds of people in business, and I can honestly tell you it took me a long time to learn. Life is so much easier and better when you cut this shit out. You don't have to put them on the back burner. That's not a good idea because any space where they can communicate with you means there's room for negotiation. And since you know what to expect from them and you don't want to deal with them anymore, then cut off all negotiation. Close the door of communication completely. Don't say anything bad about them when their name comes up in public or in circles. If there is one thing I have learned, it's knowing when to leave the playground. The less or more kind things you say about someone who's done you wrong and who talks about you in a negative way, the least trustworthy they look. We are our own walking resumes. Look out for these cues and know that business is business and friends are friends. But in business, the two rarely mix. Make business business and keep friends as friends.
Don't have lunch, dinner, breakfast, a snack, or even a damn candy bar with people like this because they will come back and ask you for a down payment on a home as repayment and then throw up the candy bar in your face. Cut them completely off. If you see them in the future, be cordial, but never sit at the same table with them at an event or any other place and never allow the door to be open again for communication. Life is too short, especially when you get older. You can't keep making the same mistakes. Why settle for shit when you can have peace and harmony in your life? Now, there's an added bonus. When you get rid of them, the door for real opportunity will open with 10 legitimate people who are about genuine business, genuine support, and genuine lunches. While we may seek understanding and compassion, I've never met a person in my life who was looking to be used. Know it when you see it, then get rid of it, because some lunches are not free. They're credit cards with extremely high interest rates that will be charged to you for years down the road. If you notice any of these signs that I mentioned previously, You can save yourself by monitoring your conversation. If you're in the midst of having lunch with somebody like this, then take out your credit card and you pay for the lunch. This is Pennies from Kevin, my best in business and life. Follow me on Twitter at Pennies from Kev or at radiofacts.podbean.com. You can also email me at kevin at radiofacts.com.